This week, I played my final professional tournament of 2023 out here in Kuwait. And I played some pretty crazy matches against some pretty decent players. Last week, I showed you how I qualified for the main draw of the event and lost to the world number 550, having even had match points, which showed you how close it was. Hopefully this week, I could replicate that, but a bit better. This week in the first round qualifying, I played a Qatari called Rashid Nawaf, a wild card. He got his first ATP point at just 17 years old. He made the final of Les Petits As, a prestigious French under 14s tournament where the world's best compete. And he's even got a Davis Cup professional win in men's. So this was gonna be a fun match. So in this first round qualifying match against Rashid, I didn't really, really know what to expect too much. I knew that I was gonna to have to um, play solidly on my serve, win my service games, which was the main focus, and try and find a way of breaking. I think that me and my coach have been working on trying to be as kind of relaxed as possible in the return games, try and win as many free points as possible, and then in the serve games, do what I do best. As you can see, serve big serves and hit big forehands, and really try and play aggressively. I think Rashid had, a, had an interesting game style that made it quite difficult for me. He'd like to defend, chip. He also you know, came forwards quite a lot to mix up the tempo. And it was actually quite awkward to kind of play against. Uh, but I think I managed, after I managed to get this first break, in the, my rhythm kind of began to flow quite a little bit. And uh, I began to, to play some pretty high level tennis and it was difficult, I guess, to, uh, to kind of combat that. And I think that everything that I was doing was working. You know, as you can see here, getting a second break, bang on the line on that lob, um, giving me a set point pretty early on in this, in this, uh, in this match. Going up first set 6-1, a solid performance, but I knew that he wasn't gonna, he wasn't gonna give in. Uh, definitely, once you're kind of that first set down, you gain a little bit of confidence, especially in the first kind of match of the week. But I definitely knew that it wasn't gonna be a rollover from there. I definitely think that, you know, just keep hitting my serves. I was serving very well this day, also coming forwards well, closing off points with a, a good amount of margins, as you can see. We also had the second camera angle from above, which shows a good perspective of the match. Some points, I think that I could have done a little bit better job of just putting the ball away because uh, as soon as I gave it one or two opportunities, my opponent kind of came back into the point. But some good athleticism, trying to press the net again uh, to hold this service game allows me to, to face off a little bit of uh, pressure at the beginning of this se second set. Uh, the first few games are always very indicative of how the match is going to turn out because having won this first set, I think that this second set is obviously so crucial to try and set the tone for the, for the second set. And if you can manage to get an early break, then it's really going to affect, I guess, how your opponent's thinking, how your opponent's dealing with the different situations. But as you can see, managing to get a break, um, again, focusing on you know, hitting my serves where they needed to go, coming forwards, and I was able to, to close out all of those points and not really give Rashid a chance. To, to kind of get into the match. I think that that was kind of working very well for me. And uh, overall, I carried the momentum from that, that second week where I nearly beat a top 500 player into this week. And I felt that my level was really, really rising. And as you can see here, having um, you know a clear lead in Rashid's service game, he manages to pull off a crazy shot there, brings it back to juice. And uh, with some good tennis, a few aces, brings it to 5-2 in the second set and now. It's, uh, it's down to me to try and serve it out for a space in the final round of qualifying. And at 40-15, go for a huge serve T. Managed to take the win, moving on to the second round of qualifying in this final weekend here in Kuwait in the singles. I was super excited to carry my momentum on. In the final round of qualifying, I was playing Lars Goran Boeft. He's seed number 15 from Belgium. He's ranked 1,100 ITF. And he's had a very good week in Heraklion playing players such as Simon Freund. He just lost 10-8 to qualify. So a player clearly on good form. We'll jump right into this one. I knew that from the beginning, having watched him, he was going to be playing some solid service game tennis. Similar to myself, I knew that, you know, in my service games, I'm going to have to try and play aggressive. I'm not going to try and hang back. And I knew that he was going to hit a lot of aces. Um, a lot of uh, big forehands, he had a quite similar game to mine. As you can see, he had a clean backhand as well, putting that ball up the line. I knew that I was going to have to hit my spots on the serve. I definitely think that the first set was uh, indicative of, of the ending result. You know, it was an absolute battle. Uh, but I managed on a few occasions to, um, to put the ball away. And uh, as you can see, my opponent serving here at 2-1, looking for opportunities to use my forehand, looking for chances to to try and get up a, a break. But as you can see with my opponent, the way he was serving, he wasn't giving me any of those chances. Um, closing out that service game, 
going up 3-2. You can see me moving there on the forehand. That was something I was trying to do as well, not only to kind of get in my opponent's head, but also to really try and force my opponent to make a decision on the serve. Really go T if he's going T. And if not, if it's not good enough, then I'm going to get on the forehand and absolutely crunch it. But here, yeah, three all, a 30 love opportunity to, 30-15 uh, opportunity here to go 4-3 up. I think as we get towards the end of this uh, first set, it was getting tighter and tighter from a scoreline perspective. And obviously I knew, okay, the player that wins this set is going to be the player that can find a, a break somehow. Um, as you can see, we were both serving very, very good. We change here at 5-4. And I felt that at this point, 30 all, this was a game where I think I was up maybe 30, 30 love. My opponent puts in a very, very strong serve. And here at 40 30, once again, I think that was a second serve to my backhand, getting me on the stretch. Him going, you know, good depth, good pressure with that forehand, moving the ball around nicely. Could have done with a little bit more depth on that forehand there to put, take the pressure away from myself. And uh, yeah, absolute battle of a point. Try and switch it line, give it a bit too much. And that gives my opponent um, the hold. But once again, a solid service game at 5 all gives me a chance at 6 5 here. This was the game that I knew okay, if I can't break, it's going to be a tie break. And tie break, pretty much anything can happen, especially when you're playing an opponent where the level is kind of so close in this first set. I definitely tried to, to kind of put as many balls in as possible with good depth. I felt kind of confident that I could on the right shot be aggressive and as you can see here just putting that ball back one more time cross court trying to get some good depth but my opponent dictating the terms him coming forward to the net just trying to absolutely scramble and him putting the smash right on the line I thought it was long at the time but on further inspection it was actually in and some clutch forehands there give me a set point on my opponent's serve absolute bomb of a serve go straight into my backhand I managed to dip it low on the volley use the forehand and he just misses the volley wide and that was an absolute nail-biting set of tennis that I was able to take and that gave me so much confidence in the second set and I knew that if I can carry that through I might break my opponent mentally and as you can see with backhands like that and uh, forehands with that angle everything was uh, beginning to slot into place uh, of course once again my opponent is able to close out his own service game uh, and you know, a couple tight games at the beginning of the second set was once again a battle to try and break through. But I felt everything was flowing nicely. My forehand was working well. My backhand was was consistent, which I think is important. And I find myself 30-15 up here in my opponent's service game. Absolutely scrambling on the stretch. I love that forehand that I can get in cross. Managed to dip that backhand short, come forward to the net, and that's exactly the points that I want to be playing. I get a chance at a break point here at 40-30. My opponent goes to the drop shot. I'm up there pretty quickly, managed to put away the winner for the break. And now I think that I had a lot of confidence going into these next games. I've obviously taken the first set quite clutch, which I was proud of. Proud of. And then in the second set here, you can see my opponent going for kind of, I don't want to say stupid shots, but shots that potentially are going to win me the point quite easily, a bit of a checkout. And I think that that was only he helping me to, to play better. And as you can see here, five one up in the second set, pretty dominantly uh, being aggressive. Ball very close there, just called long. And this serve as well, which I saw as in, was also called out. And that affected me a little bit mentally. Uh, my opponent goes 40-15 up, as you can see, and just totally shanked that backhand wide. Uh, it's not what we wanted at all. Uh, but I refocused in this next game here to go 40-15 up on serve. I didn't want to let that affect me. It was very easy for me to give away this game and then suddenly be only one service break away from giving my opponent a chance back into this match. But I do manage to get a break point here at 5-2. My opponent once again goes to the drop shot. I go once again up the line and close it out on the smash, putting me through to the main draw, securing me a spot to win another ATP point, hopefully, if I manage to win next week's video, which you're going to be seeing next Sunday, where I play in the main draw for another ATP point under the light here in Kuwait. You don't want to miss it.